Now to do the water test, I'm going to remove the water tank and just use a bucket of water to put the suction side of the pump in because I still got some work to do on that tank. The drain valve, the fill connection and whatnot. But I just want to test to make sure that all these fittings that I've put in are going to be non-leaking. Okay, there's my water. I'll put my inlet in there, turn it on. I've got towels, just in case I get a leak. So, the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the water from the pump. That's this one right here. And that should give me water flow right up to here, to the inlet of the hot water heater, and over to the sink. So I've uh, installed an off on on off switch for my water pump right here. So this is where I'm going to be turning the water pump on and off. And if I'm successful, water will come out of the faucet here. And uh, we should go. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Well, I'm looking for leaks back here, and I have none, none. Okay, let's turn on Turn on the cold water. Oh, that's coming right up to there. So the shark bite fittings aren't leaking. Wow. I have no leaks. Zero leaks in the cold water system. I am so, so, so happy. Wow. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Here's the on off switch for the water pump. So if you want to turn the water system on, you flick the switch up, system pressurizes, and then you turn the valve on. water flows. I 
I got 32 fittings, 32 Upinar connections in the cold water system that I made and not a single leak anywhere. I'm so, so pleased with XA piping, the Upinar fittings, and the expander tool used to make these connections. It really was simple and wow. First time doing it and have no leaks. That's pretty happy. That's happy. <coughs> Today, I'm going to test the fittings in the hot water side of the system. And since my last test on the cold water side, I've installed a pressure accumulator to see if it makes a difference on the operation of the water system. The first test on the cold water system, I did not have the pressure accumulator in. I've now installed that and I'm going to see what difference that might make. Also, I've taken the hot water heater out and I put a little bypass around the hot water heater so that I don't fill my hot water heater full of water because I don't want to really do that at this time. So, I'm going to turn the system on and see what happens. <laughs> So I've got the uh, system pressurized up and I don't see any leaks through any of the fittings that I've installed so far. And I've already tested the cold water system so it's time to turn the hot water on. So we're going to turn this lever here. So normally this would feed water through the hot water tank and out into this hot water system. Whoa, got a leak here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a leak here. This doesn't look good. Looks like the fitting. Looks like the fitting is not there. There's something wrong with this connection. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, there is no seal in that fitting. I did, I did find this seal on the floor and I wonder where it came from. Well, it fell out of this fitting here. So I'll put that in there, connect it back together again. That's better. Okay. Hot water. Got the hot water valve close to that in. Open up this. And then let's go open the hot water tap. See what happens. Let's open the hot water tap. Nothing happens. There must be a valve closed. There must be a valve closed. Oh, there is. Okay, here we go. Whoa, now it's pressurized up. Hot water. Oh, still a valve closed. I think the one underneath here is. It is. Let's see. Let's go up and turn that on. Okay. Now, hot water.
That is so nice. And I don't see anything leaking yet. But we're going to leave it pressurized up for a while. That works so much better with the accumulator. That works so, so much better with the accumulator. And you can see here is the accumulator. I would think this motor and this pump works much smoother with the accumulator. Water flow is really nice. And I don't have any leaks. It's looking pretty nice. Hot and cold water to my mixing valve that I'll eventually install for my outdoor water. So, turn it up. Pretty nice. It's all done. Now I just have to. Uh, Secure the piping to the various points and uh, install the water tank. And then eventually hook the hot water heater up and see if I can get some hot water flowing.